Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Chandra Awesome again. In this today tutorial, we will learn about how to use the RIP tool in Onship CAD software. As I think I already taught you the basic CAD software, basic CAD tools in the previous tutorials. So I'm going to teach you the new one, which is very really useful. Here you can see that I created a created a some boat-like structured body by using using the rib feature so today I'm so I'm going to teach you about the, how to use the rib tool along with this tutorial making this uh, boat shape and I in the previous video I already mentioned about uh, creating a F1 car which is 3d printable by using only the tools which I have taught I will share that video in after uh, and Monday or next week as you do the study classes I am not able to do them so I will definitely do by the next week so let's learn how to do how to work with the drip tool in our chip that's fluid okay let's learn this let's make this use here I created a new past studio and I'm going to get some sketch right here I will select in the top plane open the sketch tools and drawing the ellipse Take the attack center, try an ellipse, give the support shape and give dimension which should have two diameters. I'm giving like a right 10 and I'm giving so sort of like somewhat uh, little values according to this. So it's not and draw a diameter which we need so we need to revolve it right. So I'm drawing a diameter and okay the sketch right now. Let's draw equally, some might not uh, equal, so let's rotate the sketch so it may comes to the X cut position. Got it. Now, see, I just did it, it came to the cut position. Okay, okay, this I'm going to use the revolve tool, uh, select the revolve tool, select the one of the faces, and give it to the axis and rotate it with not fully and not one direction and give 180 degrees rotation and give the opposite direction to it and click on the revolve tool now we get created some boat shape structure using the revolve tool and the ellipse sketch now what do we need to we need to shell this part here we can do by using this self shell tool I didn't talk to you about this let's learn from this the shell tool is used to make the bodies into shell guys the sort uh, and the hello part I will teach you in the next tutorial very easily okay here the shell tool is not working because you know um, the diameter which is retaking is very uh, the I mean thickness is not accepting by the shell tool so what are the alternative step we have is you can delete the face in the top toolbar you can see the face tools and here you can see select the delete face as only which we don't want and I deleted the face by selecting that you can see it becomes like a surface structure like now I want to thicken this so I use the thickness tool so therefore I can get the thickness here I might not getting the thickness because of some unconstrainty let me check where it's not working uh, um, sometimes the on ship to, does not show errors what exactly I don't understand some is it algorithm issues or not sometimes it sh shows like that guys let me solve this uh, yeah, now I'm reapplying the thickness tool again to the faces. Uh, it says, call guys, maybe due to the sketch, I did some retex, that's why. So now it's working. See, I'm going to thickness the surfaces. I want, I'm giving the point 0.1 inch thickness, that is enough for me. Uh, let's reduce 0.5. Uh, I think it's enough for me. And I want inside the thickness and change the direction to connect. Now, see, that clearly the board chips clearly we got by doing such operations in this now we will work with the rip uh, rip tool 
basically what is the use of rib tool rib tool is mainly used for creating the ribs between uh, in the hollow parts which means the ribs are mainly used for the holding the hollow parts like boards it works let's see how the ribs are working in the wooden boards let's i'm checking in the net wooden boards yes. Click on this and check on images. Here, images you can see the boards. It's having some ribs inside it. Uh, even every board has the ribs, guys. But uh, you can't see because of this uh, designing structure. They don't want, want to show. That's the uh, what we design. You want, right? So you can make and see here some wooden boards. The ribs are available. Right now, like that, we are going to create the ribs for this board. Okay and i want the ribs somewhat down i don't want to show me that's the exact face so i'm going to offset the plane somewhat a little bit down from the surface and setting down i'm giving the uh, somewhat little distance okay i think that's enough okay that's enough for me i'm going to draw lines by using the uh, reference of the face so let's draw some lines here guys if you are not getting the reference just use the use tool and create the reference sketches simply and now you can draw the lines easily so you might get the reference also okay so i'm going to them i'm going to draw, I'm drawing the lines uh, here I am. You can draw how many lines you want, guys. Uh, I am not following some basic structure. I okay. I am not giving the distance also. Uh, uh, I think that's lines are enough for now. I am going to mirror these lines because I am pretty much lazy to draw it all. <laughs> okay, I mirror this. That's okay. The sketch now. Now we create the profiles some lines for the ribs to form the ribs in the <coughs> board now let's set the rib tool and here it is starting with the sketch planes sketch profiles right what we create that's called the sketch profiles i'm going to sell the sketch and also it asking which part to be uh rib to the respective part so i'm going to sell this but here you can see it form the rib in normal to the plane it means parallel to the plane uh, we don't want this type rib present now i want normal to the boat so here we can simply change the direct simply change the uh, option you can see normal to the plane uh, by clicking on this the rib will form and here 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 you can also change the directions okay it is formed due to this it uh, contacted with the part if we change the direction here you can't see i want a little bit distance now i don't want that much thickness of rib okay i'm giving small thickness uh yeah that's enough for me and here you can also use a mesh option and with rib mesh option it was like if you want the separate parts new parts you can unclick it if you want to match with that you can click on this and this tool uh, and that toggle by is which is useful for sometimes if you create a ribs it will not cover the whole body in that time if we use this it cover the body without leaving any gaps uh, so it is pretty useful when we creating the ribs okay so i'm just keeping on the option right like that depends on just enough you wanted i'm going to set the all sketch lines so here you can see the ribs are creating inside the port very simply uh, I'm working on this see now ribs are clearly formed inside the port in what way you want in this way you can clearly use the rib tool in the uh, cat designs and work with them and create some extra designs with simple effort without creating more sketches and extrudes okay here you can also do other options things like fillet you and give different shapes to the ribs i'm going to fillet here let's fillet this uh i'm doing some small dishes i think that's enough 
So I'm going to fill the all edges right here. Just uh, like this, we can give like this, we can give the work with the reports. Okay, guys. Here, what I taught you in this tutorial, guys, means I'm going to. Um, yeah, you can also even you can also even dollar sketches on the way. We're done with the fillets and okay and this fillet operation and you can see now it's looking good, somewhat good. I think uh like this purse is not available in the uh, uh, outside because it does not have the uh same planner base so I think it will not float instead of floating it will fall down. But maybe we should try. <laughs> But don't try this guys, it's just, just for explaining the how to work with a rip tool. Okay. Uh, I hope you might understand how to work with the rip tool uh, during these operations. Uh, I think uh, in this tutorial I have covered the, um, I got the somewhat tools like um, uh, revolt tool uh, and rip tool and lid face and shell. I, these are the main uh, tools what I usually hear okay and also thickness uh, that's are the tools are enough for this to create this one uh, that's all I was today guys I hope you might understand how to work with the rip tool in our shop cat for software not only in the on shop it is uh, it is same like an other any other cats of also this is the basic rule of how to work with the rip tool and in some made other cat softwares there may be other extra features that we added but the basic rule is same so if you really like our content uh, content guys if you might got information please do like and share and subscribe to our channel guys if you subscribe and support me it will really makes me think uh, and so uh, make me confident to give make more videos about this uh, thank you guys thank you have a nice day